Hello, Colin. Why, hello there, Mark. Welcome to the Grape Depression, the channel where we take turns reviewing the most ridiculous wines we can find. What do you have for me today, Mark? I'm glad you asked, because today I've got a very special wine for you, Colin. So, as you may know, I went back to France, the land of awesomeness and wine. And I came back with a wine from France. Oh, wow. Here's the thing about this wine. Okay. It is one of the most unique wines I've ever found. Wow. And I'll show it to you right now. Big talk, big talk. No, no need for presentation. There it is. Oh. Okay. Right? Okay, yeah, it looks a unique bottle. Yeah, well, there's nothing really interesting to talk about in, in the back either. It, that's just what it is. But it is the most awkward bottle ever. Okay. Are you ready? Uh, I, I'm not sure you're ready for this. I, mm. Ready? Oh. <laughs> that is not a mistake. <laughs> that is how it is. Um, <laughs> the camera isn't warped or anything. <laughs> it was just a bunch of them. They were, they're all like that. That serves no purpose. That's just what it is. It is the most awkward. It's not enough for it to be like immediately like vi visual. Right. It's just the perfect amount to be like awkward. <laughs> like so awkward. I love it. It's so amazing. <laughs> and when you put it next to other bottles, it's oh, even yeah. more awkward. You're right. <laughs> Our collection is good. I know. Ridiculous. It's just so subtle. Oh, it's horrible. Gosh, that's pretty good. That's I know. Like... It's amazing. <laughs> so it's a uh, uh, JP Chenet. A Sinsult. Uh huh. Uh, from where? From Pays Doc. Pays Doc, yes. Pays Doc. Elegant, light, frame crisp. <laughs> Fran <and> Crispy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a southern France wine. Yes. All right, so 12.5. <laughs> You're not going to read the French part, are you? Are, are the percents going to be different? Are percents different in, in, in France? In France. No, see, we do numbers correctly uh, in uh, France. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Our Grenache Saint Salt reveals subtle aromas of strawberry, a sun drenched wine to be enjoyed at any time. It rhymes! I put it in English too. I didn't know that. And wow, what what a treat it is to have an actual French bottle from France. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say that. That's a good. That's a good point too. I was gonna say like a like a rosé that's chilled. Um, <laughs> unlike like an actual rosé. Yeah. It tastes well. If you do want to try this wine yourself, there is a link down below. Check it out. But yeah, it was kind of funny because when I went to France to look for a bottle, I figured I might as well try to find a bottle. Right. It was much harder to find well, a I'm bottle sure you that can't have like, like Baritage or like <laughs> those kind of bottles in wine. But I'm excited that you brought it back. This is not a wooden cork. We, 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 we've evolved in France. Oh. Like, we have, uh, we have like revolutionary quirks. It's kind of awkward. Uh, yeah, they're kind of like a little weird, yeah. A little more rubbery. So, I mean, yeah, this, this should be a pretty straightforward pour. <laughs> it really serves no purpose. It just pours up instead. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand, but I love it. It's so perfectly awkward. The color is pretty nice. No, yeah, it's, it should be, it should be fairly, uh, <laughs> yeah. It shouldn't be too sweet from the looks of it. That's pretty good. Well, well, cheers. Cheers. That's a fine rosé. Yeah, that's pretty refreshing. That's it's a good rosé. Not rose. sweet at all, but no. you still get like the full blast of the strawberry. Yep. Yeah, it's a short finish that I really enjoy. It just smooths out the end. Just. Very fine. It's not. Yeah, it's it's not over. Uh, over. I can't remember the word. But it's not like. Excuse me. Like over. Like, just flavored. It's not. Yes. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite sweet. With it's like right under being too much, but it's actually really subtle and it goes it blends well with the rest. The not impressive thing dry. for me is it is a little dry. Yeah, for a rosé, which is mm -hmm. is actually pretty refreshing. You're gonna have a lot more drier rosés from France mm. more than anything else. If I were to have a drink in the sun, I would like yeah, rosé like this. Yeah, I was like gonna this. say. I'm not a huge fan of rosé, but this is one that I would drink. That's um, pretty good. That I would be happy with. Yeah, again, I'm happy with it. I, I can't wait to put this next to the other bottles because yep. it's gonna look way more dramatic. <laughs> dramatic. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna give it uh, a solid seven. Ooh, yeah. I was gonna give it myself. A seven as well. I can't remember the last time I had a tie. You, oh, although it was like last visit, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no, T uh, seven as well. Good find. Thank you. Quite happy with it. But for some reason, now I'm starting to 
world. Not too much, just an awkward enough right, that it's right. just like, well, I'm really looking forward to seeing what you're gonna bring me on the next episode of The Great Depression. Well, I'm actually really looking forward to it. Oh, really? It should be very fun. Interesting.